Now the latest on the race for the White House. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries says he met privately with President Biden after holding his first news conference since last month's debate. Now another prominent Democrat from the tri-state area called on the president to step aside. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge is in Connecticut with more. Cindy, yes, Democratic Congressman Jim Himes, who represents the 4th District, where we are here in Greenwich, Connecticut, adding his name to the list of Democrats calling on President Biden to drop out of the race. We also spoke to people who live here in the district about how they're feeling. I would prefer that there be an age limit on all candidates for president of 65. You have to be 35 to be president. You shouldn't be allowed to be older than 65. Some Connecticut residents who watched President Biden's first news conference in eight months Thursday night didn't think he showed the strength needed to assure them he's fit to be the Democratic candidate. I don't know what the, the, the Democratic Party is going to do, whether they're going to go to uh, to Kamala or who else they're going to put in, but they have to do something. I would say he's a little too old. They say Biden got off to a weak start, making a flub when talking about Vice President Harris. Look. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. Earlier, he made a gaffe at the NATO summit when he introduced President Zelensky of Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> president Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. After what many called his disastrous debate performance, all eyes are on Biden as he tries to reassure members of his party. I'm in this to complete the job I started. Some did give him credit for his grasp of foreign policy and still say they believe in his ability to beat Donald Trump in November. I'm for Biden. I just think it's too late to switch. But many other voters say it's time to find another candidate, including Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut. Imagine that three months from now we get another performance like there was in the debate right before the election. Do you want to take that risk? I don't. And sources say there are potentially dozens of Democrats who will call on President Biden to step aside in the coming days. In Greenwich, Connecticut, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. As for Republicans, former President Donald Trump will be nominated at their convention in Milwaukee next week. The question remains who Trump will choose as his running mate. The top contenders for the pick are North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and Senators J.D. Vance and Marco Rubio. You can count on CBS 2 News for all your election coverage. Political reporter Marsha Kramer and Natalie Brand will be live for the Republican National Convention. Look for their live reports starting on Monday.